friends, I am Carol Robertson. A blessed Passover to you as we celebrate the glorious resurrection of Christ, the event that changed the course of human history. And we want to celebrate that with you today. But first, let's get started with a song the Lord gave me years ago that's touched a lot of people. Listen to the message in this song. It's going to be a good day. I woke up this morning to see the sun rise. Such a good feeling to know the day is mine. I've got a chance to be all that I can be. It's going to be a good day for me. Just wait and see. I'm not going to worry about troubles and cares. The love of Jesus I'm going to share. I will rejoice in the things I cannot see. It's going to be a good day for me, Jesus and me. This is the day the Lord hath made. For the Lord, I'm going to make it count. I made up my mind, starting today, this world will never get me down. I woke up this morning to see the sun arise. Such a good feeling to know the day is mine. Starting today throughout eternity, it's going to be a good day for me. Jesus and me. Starting today throughout eternity, it's gonna be a good day for me, Jesus and me. This is the day the Lord hath made. For the Lord, I'm gonna make it count I made up my mind Starting today This world will never get me down I woke up this morning To see the sun arise Such a good feeling To know the day is mine Starting today it's gonna be a good day for me, Jesus and me. Jesus and me. Jesus and me. Jesus and me. As long as there's a morning, I will give him praise. As long as there's an evening, I'll thank him for each day. As long as there's the moon and stars in the night, I can see. I will thank the Lord. I will thank the Lord for all he's done for me. He takes care of the sparrow. Takes care of me like the glory of the flowers we enjoy so free. Jesus came from heaven, his righteousness to bring. As long as there's a morning, I thank him for everything. As long as there's a morning, I will give him praise. As long as there's an evening, I'll thank him for each day. As long as there's the moon and stars in the night, I can see. I will thank the Lord. I will thank the Lord for all he's done for me. Life is such a gift from God's gracious hand. 
His blessings are as many as the grains of sand. I've been so highly favored, my life has been blessed. As long as there's a morning, Jesus' name I will confess. As long as there's a morning, I will give him praise. As long as there's an evening, I'll thank him for each day. As long as there's the moon and stars in the night I can see, I will thank the Lord. I will thank the Lord for all he's done for me. As long as there's a morning, I will give him praise. As long as there's an evening, I'll thank him for each day. As long as there's the moon and stars in the night I can see, I will thank the Lord. I will thank the Lord for all He's done for me. book of Hebrews chapter number 10, it says that Christ has opened up a new and living way. We can come boldly through the throne of grace and know that he hears us when we pray because his blood was shed on the cross. You know, when Jesus said in Matthew chapter six, he gave us a pattern of how to pray, but that doesn't mean that we need to use that as just a repetitious prayer all the time as a ritual. But he says we can go and say, our father, which art in heaven, God is our Father now because He sent His Son Jesus into the world. And when we pray, we can have confidence that He hears us when we pray. This next song is simply entitled, God Hears My Prayer. I know I can explain My prayers are not in vain Because of Jesus Jesus, I know God hears my prayer When I fall down on my knees I feel God's hand on me And when my heart I share God hears my prayer the troubles that no one knows There's a place I can go I can go When I need strength I find God's help is right on time Right on time Even when my words are few He knows my thoughts are true anytime or anywhere God hears my prayer God hears my prayer the troubles that no one knows there's a place I can go I can go when my world is filled with fear My words are few He knows my thoughts are true Anytime or anywhere God hears my prayer Carol has written and recorded many songs with the message and sounds of Israel on three different CDs, Memories of the Galilean, Only One Messiah, and Jesus is Real. Carol and Donna have also filmed a major DVD in Israel entitled Jesus is Real. You can have the entire set for a gift to the ministry of only $50. 
Call 1-800-523-3228 and get yours while quantities last. With the rise of replacement and reform theology being taught in many churches and colleges today, and with so much misguided anti-Semitism, Carol's newest book, Israel, Blessing, Tribulation, Glory, is a must read. After thousands of hours of research and traveling to Israel for over 30 years, Brother Carol helps you better understand the past, present, and future of Israel from a biblical and historical perspective. Carol brings out many unusual truths, like the story of Israel written in the stars. Who does the land of Israel really belong to according to the Bible? Why are the Muslim nations trying to annihilate Israel? Are these nations mentioned in the Bible? Who is Hamas? Who is Hezbollah? Are we close to the Great Tribulation period that the Bible and Jesus talk about? With most of Israel still in unbelief, why should Bible-believing Christians support Israel? Israel, blessing, tribulation, glory, is now available in a beautiful, hardback, extra-large print edition for a gift to the ministry of only $40. Please call 1-800-523-3228. That's 1-800-523-3228. Or visit our website at carolroberson.com. Order your copy today. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is the greatest event in human history. Not too long ago, I was talking to a man of another faith, and he said that uh, Jesus was just like one of the other prophets, and uh, Christianity was like one of the other religions of the world. And I said, sir, I do not believe that. I said, what separates Christianity from the religions of the world is that a man named Jesus, who is the Son of God, came down from heaven 
willingly died for our sins, was buried and walked out of the tomb. And I said, all the other founders of the religions, they died and they didn't rise again. And you know what? The man could not answer me. Matter of fact, his reply was, well, you've got me there. The Bible has got everybody because Jesus and Christianity stands alone. Let me give you some verses today that I pray will speak blessings to you. In Acts chapter 4, verse number 33, And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. Do you know the message of those first century followers of Jesus, the first Jewish Christians? It was the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Jesus was the Lord. And before Christianity became this institutionalized establishment, they met in people's houses. They met in caves. Uh, they were being persecuted in the first century. And every time they gathered together, they celebrated the resurrection. We don't have to wait to one time of the year. We can celebrate the resurrection of Jesus every time we gather together. And that's what we should be doing. It pleases the Holy Spirit when we do that. The Apostle Paul was writing to the believers at Corinth and listen to what he said, how important the resurrection of Jesus is. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse number 14. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain and your faith is also vain. Think what a statement that is. There's no need for us to preach if there's no resurrection. There's no need for you to believe in Jesus if there's no resurrection. That's how important it is. Now Paul goes on to say in verse number 17 through 19 of 1 Corinthians 15, he says, And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, ye are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Listen to what Paul is saying here. If Christ is not risen, we have not been forgiven of our sins. We're still in our sins. We will either die in our sins and go to hell, or we will die with our sins on Jesus and go to heaven. That's how important the resurrection is. And the Father accepted Jesus' sacrifice by raising him from the dead. If there's no resurrection, there's no hope for our loved ones who died before us, who died in faith. I think of my father, I think of uh, some of my ancestors who died believing in Jesus. We will see each other again because of the resurrection of Christ. Isn't that wonderful? And Paul goes on to say, if we have hope in this life, we're miserable people if we don't have hope in Christ. I feel so sorry for people that don't have any hope in Christ. If all you have in this life is how long you're going to live and, and how good your life's going to be, then I feel sorry for you because this life, we're under a curse on this planet. And if, if trouble is not in your life now, just hold on, it's coming, I promise you, because it came to the most godly people in the Bible. And it's going to come to you and it's going to come to me. And sooner or later, death is going to come knocking on our door. And the only thing that's going to matter is what we have done for Christ. All the rest is not going to matter. But if we believe in Jesus, that he died and rose again, <laughs> glory to God, we have a great hope. You know, I've told people before, we have it backwards. We rejoice when a baby is born. We cry when someone passes away. The Bible says, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. You'll not find in the Bible where the death of a saint is supposed to be a sad thing. Job said, man born of woman's few days and full of trouble. But when we die in, in the Lord, listen to this, 2 Corinthians 5, 8, says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Hallelujah. There are some people in some church doctrines that teach that you never know for sure that you're ever born again. I talk to people sometimes, I hope so. I hope so. I hope I live good enough. I hope I do. Listen to this verse. 1 John chapter 5, verse number 13 says, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. You can know for sure that you have eternal life. You know how you can know? Because Christ died and rose again. 
You see, my salvation is not in how good I live. It's in Christ. The Bible says salvation is of the Lord. It's not of Christ plus me. It's what Christ did. Remember when he was dying on the cross, he said, it is finished. Jesus conquered the mission the Father sent him to do. So today, if you've never confessed with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believed in your heart that God raised him from the dead, I pray that you will today. And you'll live the rest of your life with the assurance that you have everlasting life. And I want to tell you something. We're never effective in God's kingdom till we know for sure that we have eternal life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for the resurrection of Christ. I love you and may the power of the risen Jesus fill your life in such a way that you will live for him. We can't live the Christian life in the power of the body, only in the power of the resurrection. A blessed Passover to you. I love you. When Mary came to the tomb, Jesus was gone. But she saw two angels in white. Then she heard Jesus say, Woman, why weepest thou? Go tell the disciples I'm alive. She found the morning star shining. She found the rock of ages standing. She found the rose of Sharon blooming. She found Jesus alive. Mary was the first to find Jesus alive, the one whose seven demons were cast out. She loved Jesus more than all of the rest. She knew what the cross was all about. She found the morning star shining She found the rock of ages standing She found the rose of Sharon blooming She found Jesus alive Some people think of Jesus who lived long ago they read about what history has to tell But they never come to know His resurrection power I want you to know He's alive and well I found the morning star shining I found the morning star shining I found the rock of ages standing I found the rock of ages standing I found the rose of Sharon blooming I found the rose of Sharon blooming I found Jesus alive. You know that. I found the morning star shining, shining. Yeah. I found the rock of ages standing, standing. I found the rose of Sharon blooming, blooming. I found Jesus alive. I found Jesus alive. Carol's newest commentary, The Book of Romans, one of the most debated and complex books in the New Testament. Carol approaches this all-important book from the original context, bringing out Greek and Hebrew thoughts in an easy-to-read format. The church at Rome was compiled of Jewish and Gentile Christians who needed some clear answers about the connection of law and grace and the righteousness of Christ by faith. What does Romans really teach about controversial issues like homosexuality and other sins of the flesh? What does the word election really mean? What does the word predestination really mean? These and other topics have caused much division in the church for centuries. Carol's commentary on Romans is unique and a must for ministers and serious Bible students. It has been printed in a beautiful hardback, large print edition. We would love to send you this valuable resource for a gift to our ministry of only $40 plus shipping and handling. We would also like to remind you of Carol's other commentaries on Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts, all from the first century perspective. Please call today at 1-800-523-3228. That's 1-800-523-3228. Now you can enjoy Carol and Donna 24-7 
by downloading the new Carol Robertson Ministries app, unlimited video plays, music, Bible teaching, and much more. This new app is a wonderful way for you to be better connected with the ministry, and it's absolutely free. All you have to do is go to your App Store or Android Store on your cell phone or tablet. Also, download the app from your Apple TV or Roku Smart TV. In the search bar, type Carol Robertson Ministries, download, and then install. It's that easy. Life is such a mystery that God gave to you and me. How He looked ahead in time, through His mercy found a place for me. As a child who did not understand, God placed His gracious hand. He knew everything I would be. Before I was born, He knew me then. Jesus died for my sin to give His life to me. Life changes every day. Many seasons come our way. Some are bad, some are good, but Jesus will never leave His own. Life is such a gift, my friend, as I think back on where I've been, I can say God's promises are true. When you're up or when you're down, there's a peace that can be found. This life can belong to me and you. Life is such a precious thing With memories and songs to sing To feel loved by family and friends When I leave this life someday Jesus has made a way for life That will never, never end Such a precious thing With memories and songs to sing To feel loved by family and friends And when I leave this life someday Jesus has made a way for life That will never, never end We trust that the program was a blessing to you this week. You can follow Brother Carol on Facebook, YouTube, or download our free Carol Robertson Ministries app. And thank you for your prayers and financial support to keep these programs on the air. You may write to us at Carol Robertson Ministries, 203 South Clayton Street, Ripley, Mississippi, 38663. Our ministry website is simply carolrobertson.com. Until next week, may others see Christ in you is our prayer.